In this example, we're going to go ahead and work through and solve this linear first order differential equation. And as a quick reminder, it's first order because the highest derivative we see is the first derivative. And it's linear because I can transform this equation into this form right here. So it looks like my y prime needs to be all by itself, but up here it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and start by dividing every single term by 2x to get that y prime by itself. So when I rewrite this, I'll have y prime plus 1 over 2x y equals 10 times the square root of x over 2x, which I can go ahead and simplify. I'll, I'm going to leave that for a moment and work my integrating factor first. All right, so I have this left side written y prime plus 1 over 2x and then times y. So I know my p of x is going to be this 1 over 2x. So my integrating factor, we'll call that r of x, is e to the power of the integral of p of x with respect to x. So in this case, my p of x, remember, was 1 over 2x dx. So this 1 over 2, I'm going to kind of bring out front of this integral. So it's e to the 1 half times the integral of 1 over x with respect to x. And this integral right here is pretty standard. This is just going to be ln of x. So I'll write it that way. And what can we can do with this 1 half is use our properties of logs and create this as an exponent. So e to the ln of x to the 1 half. And of course, e and the natural log are inverses of one another. So what this whole thing turns into now is my integrating factor is just x to the 1 half or the square root of x. Okay, well, what am I going to do with this integrating factor? Well, I'm going to multiply it through by my entire differential equation here. So y prime plus 1 over 2xy equals uh, 10 times the square root of x over 2x. And I'm just going to multiply that through every single term. So now what it looks like I have is the square root of x times y prime plus the square root of x over 2x times y equals 10 times the square root of x times the square root of x all over 2x. And I, I didn't um, simplify this because I wanted to show this whole thing real quick, but this left side is going to end up being, let's see, the product rule is, looks like it's where it came from. And so when I take the integral of this left side, I'll actually get the square root of x times y. And let's go ahead and simplify this right side down. The square root of x and square root of x multiplied together, cancel out with this x, and then 10 divided by 2 is just 5. So we'll integrate that with respect to x. Okay, so the square root of x times y equals, well, 5x plus c when I integrate this. So solving for y, I'll divide every term by the square root of x. So these will cancel. So y now equals, let's see, 5x over the square root of x will be 5 times the square root of x plus c over the square root of x. So here is the general solution for my original differential equation right here.